Hi folks, it's Barry, uh, owner of the A-Track Repair Center in Arizona, and uh, we're doing the final to check out on a unit sent in by Larry Adams. It's a uh, very nice JVC four-channel unit, and uh, so let's just do that without further ado. Uh, had noise in the motor, uh, so first we're going to try a tape that's very familiar to everyone to make sure the speed's correct, and then uh, we'll try some very quiet music so that we can turn it up nice and loud and make sure that there's no remaining static noise. So. First, we'll pop in some Doobie Brothers. Okay, it's a four channel unit, so we're going to bring our meters in, make sure that we've got sound on all four channels. And if you're looking for true four channel sound, you don't want the same indication on all of them. <laughs> okay. We got left only, right only. Okay, back to center. Front only. Rear only. Okay, back to all four. Right, sweetheart. Hmm. That was the wife. Okay, now we're popping some uh, very quiet music so that we can make sure there's no static noise remaining. music now we're going to try something even quieter a head cleaner which has no tape at all uh, so all we're going to do is we're going to fire this thing up uh, no tape in the unit uh, just going to turn it on and let the motor run so that you can see that there's no motor noise okay we're going to crank it all the way up here and you can hear maybe a little hiss and there is uh, no static noise at all and it's uh it's turned all the way up with the tape inserted now, uh, on some tapes, there will be just a little bit of static noise. Uh, that's just caused by buildup and uh, the fact that there's rubber and tape material uh, which creates static when uh, they make contact with each other. Uh, that can usually be cured by moving the tape around a little bit, uh, moving it to the left or the right. So, here we are. That uh, completes our testing on the unit sent in by Larry Adams.